Today is Wednesday. It is the 20th. Um, this is my, this used to be my favorite watch. It's the Stormtrooper watch. It's pretty cool. But I'd say Nixon is my favorite company. Diesel is pretty cool too, but Nixon makes really good watches. I just got my bodybuilding order package. So first of all, shout out to bodybuilding.com because they, this, I ordered this two days ago and it shipped. I got it in a day. They shipped it the 19th and I got it the 20th. I already opened it obviously, but so they were having a good uh, promo where I got, you buy a box, you get the other box half off. Um, by the way, these are really good protein bars. Haven't had these in a while, so I figure I switch them up from like Quest and stuff. So these are Combat Crunch. Combat Crunch. If you guys haven't heard of them, you probably live under a rock or something. But Muscle Farms Company. And then I actually tried, I ate one of these earlier. This is the chocolate brownie. Again, another really good protein bar. Uh, first time I had this one, and kind of blew my mind. It was really good. So those are good. Um, so this is a product I haven't tried before. This is by MHP. This is called Expel. And it's pretty much a water diuretic. And most people take this before they're getting ready to do a show. Um, I'm not going to start this yet. I don't even know the full protocol for this. But I think you're supposed to only take it for like a week or something. Pretty much everyone's different with the way their body holds water and, you know, fat distribution and stuff. You know, typically women hold more fat in their, you know, their butt, their thighs. Guys tends to go in the midsection, love handles. Me, it all goes right to my midsection. Like, you know... I don't hold fat. My lower back, you guys can't really see it, but my lower back is pretty lean. Um, it doesn't hold that much fat. It all goes a little bit here in my midsection. So it's like, you know, some guys like, you know, Matt Ogus, he has good, he's great mat or great ab genetics. So even when he's at above 10%, you're annoying me, man. Matt Ogus, he has great ab genetics. So if he was above 10%, you could still see his abs because he just holds um, his weight distribution in the abs is good. Whereas, you know, everyone's different. So my all my water weight, all my fat tends to go here. So this is a good product that would help me get rid of that water weight. Obviously, I'm, I'm starting to drink more water. I'm starting to lean out, do more cardio. But I'm going to give this a go in probably a few weeks. I got some vitamin D3. Again, this is cheap stuff. So this is like five bucks. Um, quick comment, if you live in like a northern state, like we live in Minnesota. So everyone in Minnesota should be taking a vitamin D3. Um, like I've noticed some days I feel a little bit, honestly, like depressed, where it's just a... Dude, this guy. I'm sorry, it's hard to focus when this cat's just doing shit. See, this one just lays here. The other one just does everything. Alright, so yeah, everyone in Minnesota should be taking like a vitamin D3 supplement. Because, you know, in the winter months we have like no sunlight. So, gonna give this a go. Um, plus I've been starting to take vitamins again, so I mean, that's gonna get me few thousand I use of D3 and then I did get another supplement it's upstairs but it's just a it's called dandelion root Took it before again it's that's a natural water diuretic helps you get some water weight out of you and it's good for digestion and stuff like that what was this um, a BCAA and a magazine with some hot chick on there you know yeah it's gonna be back night and my pre-workout tonight will consist of Snicker Doodle, Lenny and Larry's, this is really good. Highly recommend you guys try these out. Go watch my video, my review video if you haven't seen that yet. And then, uh, like I said, these are big cookies. They're filling you up, so. It's calories. It's got 360, 370 calories in the whole cookie, but it will fill you up. Good pre-workout choice. And then, of course, I'll do like, um, one and a half servings, two servings of these Sour Patch Kids. As you guys see, I snack on these throughout my workout, too, to keep that pump going. If you guys have not followed me on Instagram, here's my Instagram. Obviously, it's just uh, same as my YouTube. It's Brewer Fitness. So give me a follow. I will follow you back, so follow me. Um, there's a lot of people I'm going to unfollow. I shouldn't be following this many people, but I don't know who I am. So I'm probably going to limit that to a chunk of a big 500. But, um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. Snapchat, Brewer Fitness. And then, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit at the gym. Yep. Alright, so we're doing, uh, like I said, deadlifts. We're starting off with deadlifts. We're doing back tonight. I think we'll do a little bit of biceps. Hit those rear delts a little bit. Uh, my chest is sore. Rear delts are back here. 
Not right here. Um, warmed up with the bar. Want to go plate next. So like I said, if you guys are expecting some heavy ass weight today, it's not going to happen. I have not deadlifted consistently in probably years. I've been doing it, you know, every once in a while, but nothing consistent, like weeks and weeks of consistency. So we're going to start, this is the official day, he's going to start deadlifting. I'm going to start, I want to, you know, get some respectable numbers up. Um, you know, like I said, my back's not a bad back. I have a pretty good back, pretty decent back, I think, but deadlifts will help, you know, and plus, I just feel like deadlifting again. Probably do some pull-ups today. Lat pull down. You guys will see the rest, but um, we're gonna get to it. This is Cody's fourth working set. He's up to 115. So like I said, guys, we're just starting out. This is deadlifting day one. I mean, we've deadlifted before, but I just haven't been, it's been a while for me. It's been a while for him. So we're just starting out light. There we go, lock it out. We didn't do too many deadlifts because, quite frankly, my form is kind of shit. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Cody's form, both of our form wasn't the best. So, we, except we haven't done them in a while, so we really just, you know, I just stuck two around the plate, went up to two. But we'll be making sure, like, that's something I really want to focus on. Like I said, I haven't done consistent deadlifts in years. Um, like I said, it's not something you absolutely need to get a great back, but it, it's one of those movements that really hits pretty much your whole back so it's, it's, it's a good thing to do so um, but we're gonna start focusing on those we're going to a pull down right now we're doing a different right here so we're really focused on squeezing activating the lats So this is Cody's first working set. We're trying a different attachment. Switch up what we're doing a little bit. So next movement we're doing is pull-ups. We'll probably do three, maybe four sets. How was it? Tired. You getting fatigued, Cody? Yeah, my left shoulder kind of hurts. Left shoulder. The fourth back movement, we're doing just the seated cable row. So we've been switching up what we're doing again. So probably be our last back movement.
a V taper. Should get a good squeeze. There you go. Squeeze. So a lot of your back motions are about getting that stretch and squeeze. Stretch, squeeze. It's like that. It's not about the weight, control what you're working. How's that one? I actually felt Cody's back earlier. Turn around, Cody, turn around. Flex the lats. No homo. He's like hard as a rock. All right, Cody, what are you eating? Ten pieces of Domino's boneless chicken. And I just finished off maybe like a sixth of a leftover chipotle burrito. Extra white rice, regular pinto beans, regular chicken, sour cream and cheese. Dude, I'm jealous. Get that shit out of here, man. That's not cool. You guys, he's eating Domino's and chipotle. Well, you got a protein chicken there, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm stuck with this shit. Just kidding. Honestly, this tastes really good. Because my girlfriend makes the best food. So I am I'm a lucky man. I really am. So I got 8 ounces of chicken breast. Weighed it with the scale, guys. Alright, so I, I've said this before, but if you guys are dieting, I would say even if you're not dieting, get a fucking food scale because it's going to... You get in good habits of weighing your stuff. You're not going to know your exact macros if you aren't weighing your food out. So... Um, like I said, I weighed out 8 ounces, so I know I'm getting exactly 8 ounces of chicken breast, which means I'm getting exactly 48 grams of protein right here. I got Coke Zero, Cherry Coke Zero, Comet Crunch Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video once again. Let's see. Like I said, still need to do... Um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see something. We're going to keep this video series going. Like I said, I think we've got... This is our second or third video up this week so far. And we're going to keep those up. I, I appreciate all the support. You guys have been commenting on the videos more. Likes are up there, and I really appreciate it. We're really trying to push our channel this year. Um, like I said, like before we, you know, last year was okay. We, we, you know, that was our first year, 2015, getting back into it. Um, for, those of the, for those of you guys that are new to the channel or um, haven't been following us closely, we originally started this channel back in, what was it, the end of 2012, right? Yeah. It was December of 2012, and we just didn't do anything. We got a few videos out. Honestly, if we kept up with the videos, I think we would be up there, but, you know, we did it. So I kind of hit myself in the head for that, but, you know, can't, can't look at the past. We're going forward, so. But big things to come. Like I said, clothing, we're not pushing clothing now because we don't have enough of an audience of subscribers, but clothing will be coming out, I promise, later this year details of that later but um, as for now I'm really gonna push this vlog series um, with my brother keep him updated but again if you guys know anybody that is relatively new to working out um, share this video with them because I'm really pushing tips like I mean you guys see me I have, a, I, have a, I, I feel like I have a decent physique my main thing you know I'm, I'm a personal trainer I'm an online coach my main thing is focusing on the form so we want to get the form down Want to make sure you're feeling the muscle work, you're enjoying it, all that good stuff. So share this channel or share this video channel with somebody that's new to working out. Do me a huge favor. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.